Hi, I'm C Sharp from 90.9 WRCJ. I'm Peter Worf, also from WRCJ, and we're going to talk about some stuff coming up this weekend and maybe into next week that people might be interested in doing around the Detroit area. Sounds good. All right, so what do you want to start with? Do you remember Beetlejuice? Should I say Beetlejuice two more times, yeah. or will there be problems if I do that? Go you for remember it. Go Beetlejuice, for it. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice! Oh, oh no. Yeah, so if you are a fan of Beetlejuice right. and you like the cartoon yeah. or the movie, well, you can check it out at the Opera House with the live musical of Beetlejuice that's happening. So all the Beetlejuice fans, go ahead and check out the live musical. Nice, Beetlejuice at Detroit Opera. Up the street at the Museum of Contemporary Art Detroit is artist Bree Grant, and she's going to be giving a talk about her work coming up on February 4th. Her art has been compared to Warhol-style pop art with Afrofuturism, magazine-quality fashion photography, and arrestingly intimate portraits of herself, friends, and other Detroit artists uh, presenting her art on February 4th. People can also head over to Cliff Bells to see Detroit's very own Planet D Nanette as they celebrate the music of Duke Ellington. Take a seat, sit back, have a nice dinner, and enjoy some great jazz music from Planet D Nanette. At the Detroit Institute of Art, it's the Detroit Film Theater with the New York International Children's Film Festival celebrating black stories. So that's a good one for the whole family on Saturday, February 4th with the Film Festival. That sounds really cool. Yeah. And if you feel like going just a little bit further, make your way to the Blue Llama in Ann Arbor where Galen McKinney and the McKinney Zone will also be performing this weekend. The Grammy-nominated drummer and her friends are there to deliver some great music, give the drummer some, and enjoy a night at the Blue Llama. Mm -hmm. Blue Llama in Ann Arbor always has great music. Through the weekend, back to classical music is the Detroit Symphony Orchestra with the return of music director laureate Leonard Slatkin. Garrick Olson at the piano, they'll be there this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Friday's a live broadcast on the radio that you may know about. Uh, I think that might be on my calendar. <laughs> it should be, right? Right, we're gonna be there uh, hosting the live broadcast on Friday. And then, speaking of classical music, on Tuesday, February the 7th, one of the best violinist on the planet, Joshua Bell, is going to be with the University Musical Society at Hill Auditorium. So we're going to close out the week with the Detroit Public Theater as they present The Peculiar Patriot, which opens on February 8th. Hopefully, we'll see you there. I'm C Sharp from 90.9. I'm Peter Worf from WRCJ. Have a great weekend.